Hi friends, now I will explain the, this note that is if this, if the fixed point lies on the fixed line, okay, then so if I consider a fixed point, okay, a straight line, a straight line, okay, sorry, a straight line, straight line, straight line which has a which has a which has a fixed point assume this is a fixed point okay fixed point okay then the set of points which are equidistant from this fixed point and the fixed line is a straight line to the fixed point and the perpendicular to the fixed line so what they are saying is okay this is an fixed line we know this and this is a fixed point this point and this line will not move and locus of points which are equidistant from this point and this line is an perpendicular line perpendicular line passing passing through this point and and this is perpendicular to perpendicular to this line so locus of points will trace a what a perpendicular straight line which is perpendicular to this fixed line so this is fixed line See friends, here if I consider any point, any point P on this locus of points, if I consider this is S, okay, that is a fixed point, okay, so this distance from ESP, okay, that is that locus of points, any point, arbitrary point, and to this perpendicular distance, if I consider the point of intersection is M of this line, perpendicular distance will be what friends? So this S will be equal to M in this case? Yes. So what happens? PM. Okay. I can say this is SP and this will be MP. Okay. So what will be the perpendicular distance? Since this M is the same coordinate as that of yes, this this will turn out to be SP by SP. So that will be ratio will be 1. See friends. So for this purpose, we have to know something about conic section. Okay, I will say what's the definite, uh, what's the meaning of a conic, okay. See, in conic section, we will study the different, uh, different uh, shapes which maintains an, a constant ratio from a fixed point, okay, and the ratio to the distance from the, okay, fixed line will be always a constant. So, if I consider a straight line, straight line like this and a point like this, okay, this will be the fixed point fixed point okay fixed point and this is a fixed line this is a fixed point and locus of points locus of points which maintain so I, if i consider uh, this point is s that fixed point is i will call by the name s okay i'll call by the name yes This is a fixed point and I will call by the name S. Okay, and I will call a general point. This is P. This is P. This, this is a trace. That is a locus of point. See friends, the distance between them. That is given by SP. That is given by SP. And perpendicular distance from this locus of point to this. Okay, that will be given by, uh, if I tell that point of intersection is, M. So perpendicular distance will be what friends? This will be PM. Okay. PM. Okay. So this ratio will maintain. This ratio will be constant. And this ratio will be called by the indicated by E. Sorry friends. It will be indicated by E. And this ratio will be called as eccentricity. Okay. If this value is equal to 1. Then this will be called as parabola okay if this value is greater than one this will be called as hyperbola hyperbola okay if this ratio is less than one then it will be called as ellipse okay you might have known all these shapes so but this is the basic of conic section okay see friends here sp by pm that is distance from a point to locus of point and this locus of point 
the perpendicular distance from locus of point to the straight line is always a constant so then it should have been a parabola so parabola means what eccentricity ratio is 1 this is a special case and this parabola it would have been taken the form y square equal to 4ax or x square equal to 4ay but this tends to be a straight line so this and this point it is explained this is the straight line is a degenerate case of parabola which is perpendicular to this fixed line and the point is on this fixed line and this is passing through that fixed point thank you friends